Hello, my star, my flower, my beauty. You are so beautiful today again. I'm sorry we meet like this once more. I doubt you'll remember this. I gave you a pretty big dose. But I like seeing your face, the way you react. When you can't see if this is a nightmare or the real world. Let me present myself. I am a secret admirer who lives with you in your house. You probably don't even know I exist, even though I do a lot for you, you know? I clean a little bit. I buy some groceries. Sometimes I take some of your groceries. It's almost like we're roommates or lovers, but you never notice. You just tell yourself, eh, I probably did it. But every few weeks, I put a few drops of medication into your coffee. And you never notice. And what it does is that it makes you slow down, fall asleep. And then you wake up, not fully, but you know I'm here. You can see me, you can hear me, you can react, but you can't do anything. You're paralyzed. And then the next day you wake up and you don't remember anything. And what you do remember, you tell yourself, must have been a bad dream. But to me, it is the greatest dream I can ever have. Seeing you up close is amazing. It's not like the pictures that I keep. You're so special, so beautiful. I need to make sure that no one gets close to you. In case you wonder why so many people suddenly stop talking to you, well, that's my fault. You can do a lot with the internet nowadays. I can ruin your relationship just like that. And you would never even know. They just go away. You must be so lonely. Oh, poor you. But don't worry, I won't let you be lonely for long. I'm always around. I've been working on a idea for you, my sweet. You see, I have been slowly hypnotizing you, making you more receptive to me, making you like people like me. And I'm setting up a real love story. You see, I know everything about you and I know we would be perfect for each other, but I have never really been able to let you get close to me because I had to learn more. But I'm making it happen, slowly, hypnotizing you, whispering into your ears how you have to behave. So that one day we'll meet outside, you'll see me and you'll tell yourself, huh, I feel like I know this guy. And you do. And I know. But you won't. Not for sure, at least. And I'll slowly make you fall in love with me. It's been a few years worth of work, but... It was all worth it, because now, soon, I'll get to keep you for myself. I'll get to keep you all to myself, my little beauty, my 
my beautiful, beautiful girl. You'll be all mine. Just you wait. I can't wait to brush these hairs. I always wanted to brush your hair. Well, I do brush them, but actual brushing. With you awake, feeling the brush in your scalp, having those cute little goosebumps. <laughs> I know you're very sensitive. That's what I really like about you. The slightest touch and you just react. You jolt into life. That's what I like about you. That's what I love about you. You're so perfect. You're so perfect. That's what I really, really like about you. My perfect, perfect girl. That's all I want. And you'll be mine. No one else's, just mine. I know everything. I'll make you the happiest girl in the world. Because I know all about you. I know all about you. Oh, don't worry. That pitiful boyfriend of yours, I'll take care of him. And then it'll be just the two of us. Just the two of us, just like it's meant to be. Just one more relationship to ruin, make you just lonely enough to accept me, and then you'll never have to be lonely ever again. You will never have to be lonely ever again. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Sleep tight, my dear. Soon, you'll sleep.